Hi everybody, it's Monica Helps with your Daily Fisher's Health Department update. Today is Tuesday, September 1st, um, and because it's Tuesday, we are going to go all the way through our full set of metrics so that um, we can decide if today is the day that we want to move um, out of our orange category. So we're going to try to review the full metrics on Tuesdays for you, and um, and uh, we probably won't be moving colors any more frequently than every two weeks, so just to give you a heads up on that. Um, so I'll review these full metrics and let's get started. Um, so first off, our case incidence rate right now is at 18.36, which is very firmly in our orange category on our community risk rating scale. Um, so that one's in orange. And then our other major metric is our case um, percent positivity. So our testing percent positivity right now for the county, it's at 6.2%. Um, according to the state's website, our Fisher's testing site is at 6.1%. So it's right along there with it. Um, again, very solidly in the yellow category. So we have one me major metric very solidly in orange, the other major metric very solidly in yellow. So that's when uh, we look to our other contextual factors to figure out which way we should go. We know our case rates, um, case incidence rates are going down. Um, and that was the reason we turned that arrow around last week. Um, they've been going down pretty solidly for a week and it does not appear that they're going to go up uh, soon based on the information that we have coming in right this minute. Um, so the contextual factors are um, some are the testing and tracing. So do we have testing available and easily available and accessible? And the answer is yes. Um, you can get in today or tomorrow to get yourself tested or anyone in your family who's five and up who's a Fisher's resident. You can come in um, and get tested the same day or the next day. So that's great text testing availability. We also have a good testing turnaround time. We are in the under three days for your results right now. We don't have any backlogs um, and most of the places in the area seem to be um, pretty much the same on that. We're seeing some good um, quick reporting coming in from the state now. So it looks like the testing turnaround is at the green to yellow category right now, um, which is also great. Um, and then our contact tracing, I would say that we continue to um, follow up very quickly on any of the contacts that we identify at our Fisher's testing site, we would be calling you first. Um, and then the state is also um, doing contact tracing and they're usually the first notifiers of people who are tested outside of the Fisher's testing site because they know it first, basically. Um, so I would put those two in our green to yellow categories as well, depending on whether you're looking at us or the state. So um, our last and tertiary kind of consideration for context is the hospitalizations. Are our hospitals overwhelmed? The answer is no, they are not. Our capacity in the hospitals remains quite good, especially the ones in Hamilton County and in Fishers. Um, but as a region, we still have lots of capacity available, even in all of Region 5. Um, which is Marion County and all the surrounding counties. Um, our uh, admissions um, right now are showing as flat or inconclusive, meaning um, they may be increasing, they may be decreasing, but overall they can't really tell. So they categorize them as flat. So both of those are in our green category for hospitalization. So to summarize, we have a major metric in yellow and a major metric in orange, um, and we need to kind of figure out what does our context say? Well, our context, everything is in green to yellow, so we are gonna go ahead and say, we are moving back into yellow, guys. And um, so we are taking our community risk rating scale into yellow um, and out of orange. So what that means for you is if you are a, what I would call a normal risk individual. You don't have any high risk factors, and I've discussed those on a previous um, video. In this um, zone, you would continue with all current public health orders, which are um, basically the mask mandate, because that is currently in place um, through the governor and through Fisher's Health Department. You're gonna continue your good hygiene and sanitation practices, wear your masks, um, distance if you're um, distance wherever you are check on your at-risk or vulnerable friends or family or neighbors um, you might in the yellow you're going to want to consider limiting your activities especially large gatherings um, in your home or elsewhere you're going to um, keep wearing keep keep maintaining that distancing and keep wearing the mask so those are the recommendations for this level if you're an at-risk individual um, we would suggest that you avoid gatherings of more than eight people um, and that you uh, and that you use precautions in any gatherings that you have. Um, so those are the recommendations. Um, I hope you guys have a, a great day and we'll keep you updated. Thanks so much for listening.